Hi! We've been studying the primary triads. The primary triads are the chords that are built on the first note of a scale. That one's called the tonic. The second most important chord is built on the fifth note of the scale, and it's called the dominant. And the third chord of the primary triads is called the subdominant, and it's built on the fourth note of the scale. So in the key of C major, the tonic is a C chord. The dominant is a G chord. And the subdominant is an F chord. But we've been learning to play them like this. Now I've asked you to name a song, something simple, a childhood song, something easy to see how many of these songs I might be able to sing and to play at the piano just using those chords. So let's see how I did. So the first one's Mary Had a Little Lamb. That's it. In that song, look okay, at we have the wheels on the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round and round and round and round. round, and round, round, and round, and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. It's one, it's one, it's just one. Five is there, one is here, one, it's one. Someone suggested the ABC song. uses the three primary triads, the tonic, the subdominant, and the dominant. So it's uh, baseball season. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the ground. I have some meat and some cracker jacks. I don't care if I never get back for a tour. in this arrangement. I call that six. The sixth note of the scale is the relative minor. And there's also a secondary dominant in this. You'll learn about that when you get into harmony too. Okay, our next song is I'm a Little Teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my hand, here is my spout. When I get to steam, One, it's four and one, four and one, five and one, five and one, four and one, four and one, five 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 and one,
Pass for Cocomera. spider. chord is going to be the dominant. In this arrangement of this song, there is a six, the relative minor. We could do without it though, honestly. But in the middle, there's some more complicated harmony where we go to the second note of the scale, and then again there is a secondary dominant, which is a little bit more complicated harmony that you'll learn as you take more theory in your classes. All right, this is a really fun little song. It's called Little Snowflake.
chords, there was one minor chord in there, which in this key would be the second scale degree. Little Snowflake. So here's Rockabye Baby. talking about a baby going to sleep and the tree's gonna break and everybody will fall out? What kind of a lullaby is that? Well, there are a lot of strange things in the world, don't you think? <clears throat> so I never knew this goofy movie song before. It's called I to I. It's really fun. Let's see if I can play it <clears throat> and sing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Marching. This is an old tune, really, from America way back when. It's called John When Johnny Comes Marching Home, but it's been turned into this song that a bunch of you know. Down to the ground, down 
the one that's different. This does use the tonic, but the tonic is a minor chord. Here's a major chord. But this one is minor, and it does have its dominant in the song. But the minor songs behave in a different manner, in which they drop down like that. song that doesn't conform to the harmonies of using the primary triads, although there are a few of those in there. Primary triad just merely meaning the tonic meaning the key you're in. It could be a major key or a minor key. Okay, our last song is Somewhere Over the Rainbow. used three chords and that's it the primary triads so I hope you'll keep practicing them so you can do what I just did play and sing pretty much any simple song that you like <laughs>